While we don't blame you for finding the majority of the Galaxy Book Pro range to be a bit frustrating, they do come with a high-tier spec sheet and an impressive design that puts them on the pedestal for being one of the best laptop contenders right now. However, the MacBook Pro 16-inch M3 Max remains the most powerful laptop from Apple right now, and that's saying something. With that in mind, if you had to choose between these two laptops, which one would be the better pick for you, and why? Let's find out in our video today. Little has changed over the years with Samsung's laptop design since the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 comes with a satisfying if a bit shallow keyboard and a massive trackpad, both in terms of its remarkable size and overall responsiveness. The design, though not changed a lot, remains top-notch with a luxurious all-metal chassis that screams elegance, though still having a very limited option in terms of colors. The laptop is relatively slim as well, coming in at a mere 12.8 millimeters and with a weight of 1.56 kilograms. This slim and lightweight form factor makes the device pretty portable. However, the 16-inch screen means you need a better bag to carry this around unless you're okay with carrying it on you everywhere you go. The 360 hinge does a remarkable job of presenting the screen in an immersive fashion, and the bundled S Pen makes full use of the tablet mode. On the other hand, Apple firmly sticks by its if it ain't broke, don't fix it mantra in terms of its overall design language. The MacBook Pro M3 retains the design we've been used to since 2021, with the only noticeable difference being a slightly darker space black option that gleefully replaces the older space gray variant. This dark matte color, in our opinion, feels a lot better than the midnight variant, not only in terms of visual aesthetics, but it mitigates fingerprints a lot better and doesn't require constant scrubbing to keep it looking in tip-top shape. You'll also get a silver alternative and two screen sizes to choose from, a 14 and 16 inch variant, which you should choose depending on your need for portability. The design on both, however, is pretty boxy with rounded corners and in classic Apple fashion, a ton of flat edges. The laptop weighs a bit heavier 2.16 kilograms for the 16 inch variant and comes with a fairly good selection of ports, at least in Apple standard. The keyboard, as usual, is an absolute delight to use as usual, courtesy of well-sized keys and a full-sized function row, and the trackpad is satisfyingly responsive as well. Samsung takes full advantage of the OLED technology, ensuring the Galaxy Book 4 Pro delivers wonderfully crisp colors and a bright display through its 3K 120Hz panel. The combination of high resolution and refresh rate means browsing and general activities feel surreal, solid, and of course, fluid. It's a great view when you're doing some light gaming as well, along with studying or creative tasks. Speaking of, the screen comes with 100% sRGB, 100% Adobe RGB, and 100% DCI-P3. The screen also comes with a brand new anti-reflective coating, which helps to mitigate glare, and the Vision Booster feature modifies the contrast and colors to best fit your overall environment and provide the best possible view. On the flip side, the MacBook Pro M3, regardless of the variant, comes with a fantastic mini LED display panel and upgrades the refresh rate from 60 Hz to an adaptive 120 Hz, which is more than just appreciated. This setup allows for true HDR playback, which is of utmost importance when you're creating HDR content and need to see how everything looks. It also allows for HDR playback of content on your supported devices or streaming services, and you'll get all that with around 1600 nits of brightness. The adaptive refresh rate caters to Apple's promotion features, making everything feel a bit more smoother all around. An iterative upgrade compared to their predecessors, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 boasts Intel Core Ultra chips, instead of Intel 13th Gen chips and comes bearing 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. Core Ultra chips do a marvelous job of providing a boosted gaming performance thanks to the art graphics and the SSD speed feels solid with 5052.20 megabytes per second read and 3969.29 megabytes per second write speeds. 
On the flip side, it's a bit complicated for the latest MacBook Pro considering a plethora of choices, but we'll stick with the M3 Max variant, which is now Apple's most powerful laptop to date. The M3 series was expected to represent a bigger leap for Apple's silicone chips. Do keep in mind the M3 Max is anything but a productivity laptop. It's far better at providing a ton more horsepower than the need of an average creative. It's a laptop catered for those who work with complex workloads and applications, such as 3D modeling or intensive video and music production. The M3 chip clearly beats Apple's M2 Ultra, which was the most powerful chip from Apple back then, and pairs it up with 16 gigabytes of unified memory, alongside one terabyte of storage. The Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 can be easily considered one of the best laptops around in terms of battery life and comes with an average sized 76 watt hour battery that can run for an impressive 21 hours of video runtime, while also coming included with a 65 watt USB C charger that can get it back to 100% in around an hour and a half. Alternatively, the MacBook Pro M3 Max isn't just a powerful machine but can also run a lot longer than their previous iterations. This one, in particular, can run for up to 22 hours and comes with a 140 watt hour plug and a USB-C MagSafe cable that's hard not to get used to. As usual, your pick is determined by your needs and preferences. If you're a creative professional or a power user who prefers the best performances for power-intensive tasks, have a knack for Apple's ecosystem in general, and value display quality for HDR content, the MacBook Pro M3 would be the optimal choice. However, if you're on the lookout for a versatile and portable laptop with a high-quality OLED display, appreciate the functionality of a two-in-one design with stylus support, and prioritize long battery life for productivity that's on the go, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 would be the better pick. Regardless, which one of these laptops would you be going with, and why? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.